The Canada Council for the Arts, the Public Lending Right Commission, the Canadian Commission for UNESCO, and the Canadian Teachers Federation have come together to promote three distinct ideas. Foster literacy and reading, promote contemporary Canadian literature, and combine everyday creativity and learning with social justice. They submitted their ideas to students from Holy Trinity Catholic High School in Ottawa and suggested a book to read, Greener Grass. The book and an interview with author Carolyn Pignat led to scripts, then videos. Reading and literature inspired discussions, actions, critical thinking, and social comment. Listen and see how students and teachers embark on a unique multifaceted project. The project is very different and they had a very specific vision where they wanted to hit on four specific things. Canadian authorship, critical literacy, reading simply in general, as well as social justice. And they wanted to do that so it was um, a professional learning opportunity for teachers to figure out, I want to do this in my classroom, how would I do this? The interview with the author is a key element. Greener Grass is a historical fiction for young adults uh, that's set in Ireland in 1846 and 47, uh, right at the start of the Irish famine. And uh, it tells the story of Kathleen Byrne, who's the main character, and um, what she does to help her family survive the potato famine and how that affects her morally and socially and emotionally. I think it's really important to teach Canadian literature in schools and literacy in schools because it's part of who we are, it's our voice, and we really need to expose the young readers to that so that they get to know, you know, what that voice is, what it sounds like, and know that they have a part in that voice as well. I think it's always important, especially with writer's craft, to hear from a real, t uh, you know, real writer um, the process of writing, how they even intended certain things, and that's kind of what we hit on as well. And she even um, went through the her own writing and said, "Well, I tend to look at different authors to say how did they do that." So she was quite impressed, actually, that we as students went through that to see not just from a literary perspective, but also through a writing perspective. How did this author actually attempt these things, these themes, or this stylistic way of writing? Uh, it was it was uh, interesting for sure, just to have you know like the author from our city come in and be able to explain what she was doing with the story and what you know how she like the process that she went through of writing it. Like I haven't experienced that before. I've never spoken to any of the authors that have read the books that I or wrote the books that I've been reading. So that was definitely was definitely helpful. Two 12th grade classes take part in the project, the writer's craft class and the communication and technology class. Students exchange their views from the perspectives of writers and videographers. The uh, English class has read their book and they're trying to demonstrate, you know, bring out some themes from, from the novel they've read. And my class is coming in kind of a director type role where they're working with these groups who they haven't read the book themselves and trying to make their idea kind of come, come to life. How does everyone else know she's Canadian? Basically what we have to do is we got a, a topic from our teacher and we're trying to kind of show that through a video that we're doing. Um, our video is about a superhero who <laughs> likes to promote literacy. Uh, well, we took the book Greener Grass, written by Caroline Pignat, and we had the uh, mission of connecting that to social justice and social action issues. So uh, what we did was we wrote our own song, we recorded it, and we did a one-shot music video. I write music and I perform music, and uh, I'm really interested in social justice, something I'm passionate about. So it's uh, really cool to come to school and be able to use two things that I'm really passionate about in the same field. So it was a cool project. Um, basically, we're trying to demonstrate critical literacy using drawings and those types of things that are kind of easy to understand and then we're going to narrate over that. We're just trying to, you know, make it easy to understand. Critical thinking to analyze a novel or any story really in a way that you're not taking everything the way it's presented to you necessarily and looking at maybe what's left out of the story or whose point of view wasn't analyzed and just trying to see, like, point out biases and those types of things in the story. We're doing Canadian authorship. Canadian authorship in its blandest form is being an author who is Canadian, but like we also talk about the perks of being a Canadian author and other ways that people can be called a Canadian author, so like having themes that are considered Canadian or characters or having it set in Canada or having it affect Canadian history in some way. 
the students from the two classes collaborate closely through to the completion of the project. Videos produced by students will inspire different approaches. The results are shown in the uniquely creative voices expressed. This sounds like a job board. Read man. And book girl. Action. Want a reaction, only need a fraction of your interaction So where is your compassion? Subject to greed, exploitation, and hate With nothing left on their plate Step up, take action, don't you wait Yeah, I have the idea for one in a couple of scenes It's gonna be awesome by the end though Oh yeah? Yeah, but I'm gonna get the U.S. for a publisher instead of staying in Canada But why? I don't know, better publicity, you know Hopefully get the name of a couple of good companies behind me What about everyone else in the novel? Kit's mother, ma'am, goes through many struggles, but we as the reader never know what her thoughts and feelings are. In conclusion, when you read a novel critically, you open your eyes to so many possibilities. You don't only see what the author has presented to you, instead you see all the possibilities of the story. No book will ever be the same. So please, encourage critical literacy. Read critically. Reading is listening to our voices. Reading is listening to who we are. It's actually great to celebrate what we're doing really well and encourage our own students to find their voice and, and share it here in Canada. Expanding beyond a video in like a more specific sense, like having different skills like video or art or law or something apply to just anything within the like creative writing process would be really interesting. It's the idea of collaboration and the idea of getting your idea across, but also understanding what the, the director and everybody else in the, in the team wants. So it was, just, it was a good teamwork activity and it, it built a lot of skills for a lot of people. I decided to take this through a writer's craft approach, but I don't think that it would just be limited to that. I think any time a student is opened up to a, a different way of thinking, regardless of the subject matter, even if it's approaching a math problem from a different point of view or a different way or manipulating it hands-on as opposed to thinking you know, cerebrally, it's, it's very different for them. So I think it's anything like that to open up a student to think of something in a different way or a different approach. Reading opens up worlds. We're very sheltered people. We're very um, inexperienced people from the very beginning. As we open up to the world, to our understanding of things, we can do that through books as well. It's not just our connections with people, which of course is part of the process, but reading also gets us to places we haven't been before, experiences we either have been or can connect to and expand from. So I find reading is a really good learning potential for just simply understanding life. Working by yourself, you really only have your own ideas to put forth into a project, but when you add the element of other people in, you gain so much potential. Every person has their own ideas, their own opportunities, their own insights and different world experiences that they can take and put into a video, which is fantastic with what Miss House class did. I had six very unique individuals come into my group and we were able to create a masterpiece. Terms that will lead us to our fatal terms. Our net worth is worth through networks, it's worse. But maybe we can change that in them through the words. Obsess them with text, make them love literature. We can do this by telling it through the view of the first. See through my perspective, spectate. See the world in which we're blessed with. Throw into the dirt, get up and water the earth. Show the life that's living's worth. Cause every day, both rich and poor, wondering what we're living for. The famine and the hate grip all the loved ones all around.